to get full and you to have resistance with the bag mass ventilator. So you're going to go in and take the gas. So you should out not of the take stomach. the time to do this until you've reached that point. Correct. Okay. And and when you go in to degas the stomach is when you would do this because you want the stomach to be air free so, so that you're going to gonna see a chest rise when you do the back. So, so, so you degas the stomach and then you insert so this. Or you're you saying it all happens when it comes in the package. package. This is going to be so blown you do up. one end and okay. the other. So feel right here. And so and if you right haven't here. ever. Okay. So you have to stick in this. Seen a laryngoscope and used one just so that you can see the process and how it works. This is what you're talking about. This is all the equipment you have to carry. You have to carry two different of these. You have to put your batteries in here so you always need another set. Usually you have two blades, a large and a small. And obviously, you got to take all the air out of this once the baby starts breathing on its own and take it out. Okay. Can you so, can you well, demonstrate the way that this again? Works, I'm gonna go through the whole thing again. Okay. 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 I'm just waiting. Did, were you here? No. Okay. Just so I was waiting until yeah. enough people were here. So um, when you use this, you open it up so that you can see that the light's working. You would hold the baby's head still, and you just go all the way to the back of the baby's tongue, and you oh, lift hey, up. When you lift up, you see the two white lines? That's the baby's trachea. Mm -hmm. See it right here? Mm -hmm. The trachea right there. Those are the vocal cords, the little white lines. And that's where you're going. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. On, these oh, two yeah, dumb, I saw, I saw. on these two babies, you cannot see the vocal cords. Oh, okay. I can see so you can this is an this. alternative to this? Correct. Okay. Can so I if please, you were going to do this, I need to look one more time because I didn't get a good. You would hold this like this, and then you would go ahead and insert the ET tube in between the vocal cords. I can't see because you got your camera there, but I'm sorry. I'm making a stab at it. There we go. So that's in there. Now I take this out. I take my guide out. I take the mask off, and I bag the baby. Mm -hmm. Breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three. Right? Mm -hmm. The baby is still not breathing, and the heart rate is 40. Help me with chest compression. Somebody. One and two and three and four breathe. and five and... One and, and two and three and four and one and two and three and and three and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and three and one and two and three 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 because chances are they don't even have no. a baby mm -hmm. one, let alone know how to use it. You should just keep bagging and go in the ambulance if you can. Yeah. What can you? Um, because in so our state we don't, we're airway. not allowed to do in, uh, intubation. Intubation. So, but we are allowed to use those, and I have one. So, can you? Right. I've never actually used That's it. That's just though. what she's That's gonna what do. I'm okay. gonna show. I'm gonna yeah. walk you through the whole Perfect. process. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did okay. you do it? Could you see? You can't see the white lines because they don't exist on this baby. Let me show you. I want you all to look closely at what this she's doing. LMAO. This it's is not why we in. shouldn't do it in the out-of-hospital setting and why we shouldn't do it because we don't do it often enough. Mm -hmm. She's putting pressure on the baby's palate right here to break mm -hmm. that bone. Okay? You never do that. You've got this way far deep. So what you're trying to do is just go to the back of the tongue and then pull up. Oh, I see. So that's all you do. I see. So it's a hand motion of pulling up on uh, the tongue see. until you see the hole. Yeah. Okay. okay. And on the ba on a real baby, you'll see it, that little that little vocal cord. Okay. Mm -hmm. So look in this one for that, not in this one. 
if you want to see it. I'm and then, turn that light up right. so the process again for doing this, you got to have a guide because this is really flexible and it won't go in without a guide. So you have to have a guide. You have to have a boat this size that you think your baby is, and they are varied by how thick they are. So there was another one sitting here, I thought, that was a little different size. But you're anyway, saying that we shouldn't do this out of hospital. Right. I'm just showing you the process okay. and how different mm -hmm. one yeah, is than the other. Compared to this one. Right. So this one, A, you have to have all the equipment. B, you have to feel comfortable putting something hard and pokey into a baby. You go all the way to the back of the baby's tongue and lift up. No pressure front, no pressure uh, below. Just lifting up on the baby's tongue. Then you anchor your hand here, and you're noticing that I'm using my non-dominant hand. Mm -hmm. This is my dominant hand. That's my guide. My guide goes into... The baby is tricky because it's going between the vocal cords. I take that out, I turn it off. Immediately, please, the bulbs are $45. Okay, then you take the mask off, attack, and watch your baby's test drive. Okay, three, two, three, three, two, three. This works great with this model because this model was made for this. I have made these models work with the LMAs, even though that's not what they're made for. <coughs> So, in the use of an LMA, LMAs come. Now I'm going to show you. Full of air. Can you send me that? That's video how they look. Can you send it to me? So, they come full of air. You can see that when they're full here, they're full here. Okay? So, this is an LMA. This is how it package. These are number 1.5. They work great for toddlers. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I'm taking your but car. But what about, I I what about for a newborn? So that's they come. That's for your toddlers or 11 pound babies. This okay. one is what, a, what about yeah. a small baby? This you one. Want a one. Oh, this is a for one. This, you this want is a, a one. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a number one. Okay. So that's for a new ones. baby. Yeah, only one. one like because a small one will keep air from going in the baby's stomach, even if it's a bigger baby. But a but a bigger one won't go in a smaller baby. So mm -hmm. only carry the one that's most effective. Hopefully you don't use it too often, yeah. right? And label, you can label your bag, especially if you're going to carry two different sizes. Right. Because otherwise you're sitting there really in the heat of the moment enough. going, right. one, 1.5, what were they supposed to do? So... When you get them, you need to have a syringe that has no air anything in it. It doesn't matter what kind of syringe. Any size, shape, syringe that you have. So this one is graded because this works with a number one. This works with a blue number one and a half. This works, that's how much air you would use to fill it. Oh. So this is just a graduated syringe for that purpose. So what you're going to do when you open up your packet... You've been bagging your baby long enough that you start to feel resistance because the air is going in the baby's stomach. Mm -hmm. So now you've got to degas the baby's stomach and then take that orogastric tube out and then move to your LMA. Okay? So usually that's a little more than two minutes, but it might be up to five if you're still not getting response from your baby. You better move to the and degas that stomach. Mm -hmm. So the way you do this is you put your empty syringe on. If you want to pick up the these and do it as I'm doing it, you're welcome to. Okay, so you have your syringe empty. Remember, pull. Yeah, empty well, this the syringe. Full. It had to be full. Fill it up. Okay. And I'm just saying, do it step by step, and that way we'll be doing it together. And I can point out some features, okay? You see what's happening to this? This uh -huh. is your indicator bulb. It's showing you what's going on in your mask when you have it inside of your baby and you can't see it, okay? okay. So you want to take all the air out, and then you have to take the syringe off because otherwise it will self-fill, okay? So then you're going to hold that like a pencil. 
someone took my picture. Could I have my picture back? Thank you. So, when you're holding it like a pencil, it's in the way, the shape that it should go into the baby's airway. Mm -hmm. So, when we did the laryngoscope and put in the ET tube, what we were doing is going into the trachea and making sure no more air was going to go into the esophagus. What this effectively does is it closes off the, effect, the esophagus and allows you to bag mask the baby's lungs only. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when you are handling this and putting it in, you need to remember which way you got to put it in. So it's always in the shape of the baby's airway. Okay? So you got your baby's airway. You might want to put a little towel under your baby. Obviously, these babies don't need that. Okay. What you want to do is take your non-dominant hand, use your thumb, and go as far back in the baby's throat as you can. And just like we did with the, the uh, laryngoscope, push the tongue up and make room for putting in your LMA. You advance your LMA right next to your thumb until you feel resistance big time. Don't stop as soon as you feel a little bit. So you go all the way until you feel resistance and then look at how much air you took out. I think yours are four and a half or five and mine is about four. So you're only gonna put in about a half to a, um, three quarters of what you took out and watch what happens if you put it all back in. See, did oh, you see it yeah. jump up? Yeah. It jumped up because it came out of place because you put in too much air. Mm -hmm. It should not get its capacity of air, but rather about a half to three quarters. You're in a hurry, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to worry about whether you do two or three. You just want to make sure you don't see it pop up because then you're going to have to put it in again. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you got it in. And now you take this off because, again, it will come out and go in on its own. This is your indicator. I call this smishy. If this is smishy, you're good. If this is really hard, you're too full. Okay. And if it's flat, you didn't get your air in. Okay. okay? Now you do exactly that. Good. And that's all the rise you're going to get out of this, but that's what you want. The movement. So I did it correctly on the first try. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, then so you, you get a gift. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get a gift. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Oh Thank my you. Goodness. <laughs> Did you get yours in too? Awesome. Okay. I guess you get one too. I get a price too. Oh gosh. Yay. Don't go home and practice with it. Keep it in your birth bag. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? So who did not hear? And go through the whole process. Do this. We we did it. You did before, right? But, yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, people who haven't done the LMA oh, before no, and who do this. it successfully today. Oh, wow. You didn't do this before? Oh, okay. I want to have a turn at trying it because I've never put one in. Well, I want everyone to get a turn at trying it. So, um, well, dinner is ready. Also. Yeah, they just call it. It is? Yeah, oh, okay. It. Can we okay. come back here after? Oh, yeah. This is cool. This is really yeah, neat. What is that that you had in your hand? It's just catheterization. What? Oh my gosh. She's got a urethra. A urethra. A urethra. A urethra. And then you can see if it came through. Everybody calls me in when they can't get it. <laughs> oh, because you have the best I do. Urethra. I don't know why. <laughs> got it fine. But that's so very right. cool. I'd love so to have one of those for my students to try. Yours is flat already, so if you would, just so that your muscle memory does it right, Anne, okay. put, yeah. put air in here and push it in. You would never do that. Yes. No. But, but because it would come full. The last product uh, test before they let them out of the factory is to make sure they're going to hold air. So that's why they're full when you get them. There you go. Start there. No, you just take that off and then no air will escape. Okay. So let me. Oh. Okay. Pull up the tongue. Get this in until you feel firm resistance, right? Yeah. I don't feel like 
I know that I'm. No, you're yeah, fine. I, I was like, I, I put it in, don't I? <laughs> I just one. Okay, and I fill it, fill it up, and it's squishy. Yeah. Then I'll take this one since it's easier to do. And I watch. I will totally not have done this right. Oh, don't be negative. <laughs> you did. I got hair. Baby can free. The baby yes. can free. Baby can free. Here's your prize. <laughs> Realistic. <laughs> so, are you going to use it? I, I don't know never. if you're a doula or, you know, no, you're I'm, doula, I'm a student, they're $20. I'm a student so midwife. Uh, don't take I them will. if you're not going to use them. I will most definitely. <coughs> so, uh, but so if you want them in your birth air. bag. What was it you were doing? You were saying yeah. it's squishy? Like, is yeah, this so a test for squishy. knowing how much to put in? Yeah, she said it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. It should yeah. be squishy. Like it's, right. Okay, so tell so, me. Which is only why it's half. Tell me if that's the right. So I can, you know, have a feel for what it's supposed to feel like. How, how you tell is by take, fill, making sure it's full of air, just like when you got it. And or you can read the fine oh, print on the package. Nice. It'll tell you how much it's mm -hmm. supposed to hold. Read the fine print on the package. I don't know the answer. And you, could, I think it's four. And write it, write it on the outside of the package in big, bigger, so yeah. you don't again, so you're not searching so for that information. If you flatten it out, doing this. If you like. If it's full oh and you take the air out, then that's yeah, how much was in it. Yeah, but so it can, the syringe can be, you know, you can push air out of it unintentionally. I want to, I just wanted to know if there was something other, some other gauge to go to utilize. It's smishy. That's my term. Mushy, but not, not hard or not, and not flat. So that's why I wanted you to tell me, okay, show me what exactly is the right. So you can feel it? Consistency. Yeah. I, I like Remember, it. we're in a disaster. That's okay. too full. That's too full? That's too full. Yeah, you can tell it. That's too full. It's too full. Too full. It. It's too full. Can I actually look at it? It's somehow behind you. Huh? There. there. So that's too full. That's too okay. full. If you were to fill it that full when it was in there, you would see it become out. Okay. Correct. And can we do it the other way now? I'm sorry, honey. Because it's flat. So okay. if I need to move. No, you can. I just wanted to get the different consistencies. Yeah, well, so you're not in number two then? Must have used it too many times. Sometimes the um, gauge will break. So so must have, have to get another one out. 1 for a larger baby See, it's not flattening. For a very large. No matter how much air I take out of it, so it's got to have a hole. Oh, no. Oh. So it's not working. I just have to get another one. To... There we go. Oh, it worked. Okay. See how that is? That's flat. And this is your gauge. So this is full. And now it's squishy. And this is flat. Can you fill it to the top? So now it's the three quarters. And now it just feels, I call it smishy. Smishy, yeah. <laughs> it's not flat and so it's that's, not. So that's full? No. No, that's the that's way. That's smishy. That's three quarters. Either but what I'm saying, is this how we want it to feel? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. How's this one? Does this one feel smushy? Yep. Yeah. Not too, not too oh, hard. And nowhere. the other indicator is yeah. when you're playing with them. Oh, see how that's see moving? It. Yeah. Okay. You're pushing on that. You're moving that. Okay. So that is your indicator mm -hmm. that this isn't all the way full. Okay. So you can push more air into it. That's all. Yeah. Are you okay. Yeah. All right. So you want to play along with me now, right? Yeah. All right. So you got a nice flat laryngeal mask airway. Just take all your air out and then take your syringe off. Take your air. Take all your air out and then take your syringe off. You'll hold your LMA like a pencil in your dominant hand. Okay. The goal is to insert this into the baby's airway in the shape of the airway. Your goal is to close off the esophagus and to force air into the baby's trachea only as you would with an ET tube. Okay? So you're going to do with your thumb of your non dominant hand the exact same thing you did with the laryngoscope, which is hold the tongue up and out of the way, 
Oh, and then make some space in, in there yeah. for you to get your so LMA you in next to it. The, the opening yeah. up go there. all the way to the back of the baby's all tongue and hold the baby's tongue up and out of the way. And then force your you LMA in next to your thumb until you can't force it any further. And you really want to force it in there. And then you go ahead and refill it with about three quarters. Oh, my ear out. So that's why you leave it full, okay? And then just until it's smushy. Watch, if you put too much air in, it's gonna pop up. See? Ooh. If it pops up, it's not where it belongs, okay? So you don't wanna fill it totally full. If it pops up, you wanna go back and push it in a little bit more. So you only wanna put in about three quarters. Don't go to that point, just go to when it nice and as I say smushy it's not hard yeah, it's and it's not flat mm -hmm. you, you, have to you take your mask it. off oh. your bag mask ventilator and it's important to do that so your muscles remember because otherwise you'll be standing there going how did Andrea sit up I got this mask on here and it's not fitting on the right mm -hmm. so, the, you, so when you're you doing it I'm pull the mask off the, the, and this. put it on you have to cover this what is this that's it, yeah. that's it. now just like that. You bag your baby. So the sole three, purpose two, of this four, is two, to prevent three, air from going into the stomach. Two, three. And free up your hands. Have you ever tried to bag mask a baby and keep the mask on, keep the airway there when uh, you got a course, I, right. you know, an NG tube? Hanging Plus you out don't of have to worry about your right. seal as mm. much, right? Having a good seal. Right. On it's a real face. good seal, so and you're going to get a lot better test wise. So on these, you just need to see if they're moving at all. It's moving. Air out it's moving. <laughs> it is. Okay. It does. It's They're not going to fill totally. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, take yeah. the air back out. When you're ready to take it out. Right. Did you get it? The uh -huh. Great. Take there. So when the baby there. starts going, well, yeah, then you go the ahead and take the air out and take it out. A lot of times they'll just put it out. Did you take the air out first? Uh -huh. Yep, just pull it out. Yeah. It's going to feel a lot better once it gets out. Imagine if it had had this. Okay? That's your other option. So we do in Canada. This is the Lorenzo's go. This is what you use to insert an ET tube. That could do a lot of damage on that. You know, it's inside the tube. The style it just to, to give it space. yeah right yes. what does the damage is this oh, that's it. and the oh, fact that's that you right. don't know what yeah, you're, you're right. doing so that you can tear the vocal cords <coughs> come on over here let, let you yeah. show us how to do it wrong how to do it wrong how to do it wrong okay so, so the first thing you <laughs> do you have muscle memory of doing this <laughs> you're never gonna do so, a laryngoscope mm -hmm. I hope not yeah okay so the problem with laryngoscopes is you have to have a lot of equipment and it's expensive. You always have to have two sets of batteries. You always have to have two $45 lamps. Because if your lamp doesn't work when you light it up, you're out of luck. No lamps needed with element. Okay? So when you test your equipment, you're going to just pull this up and make sure that the lamp comes on. Okay? Comes on, you hold it in your dominant hand. And you go in and you push up on the back of the baby's tongue until you see the vocal cords and the opening. Can you mm -hmm. see? I think so. The two white lines are the baby's mm -hmm. vocal cords. Yeah. And that's the trachea. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you would take this mm -hmm. and put it right between. You can come over and do it. You don't. No, I'm, I mean. I was right. just testing to see. You put it right between the, the vocal cords mm -hmm. and into. Are we going to be tested on the laryngoscope? No. 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 Okay. Then you turn this off, take this out, oh, sure. put this on, and bag your baby. This is so much better. Okay? Yeah. So, it's just a good thing to see what it is that you're not having to do as a result of knowing how to use an LMA. And when you get to the hospital and you have an LMA in place and they go, oh, look, and the chest is rising. She's doing a great job, right? You're one step up from the other guy. Go ahead.
this is my first mm -hmm. experience yeah. with the yeah. element. I've never yeah. seen one. Did the Lorraine so, Ditko? That's that element. I know. So, oh, you mean? Yeah. Okay, but great. I've just never seen this right. until today. So. Yeah, it's yeah. part of yeah. every yeah. NRP yeah. program, but most um, yeah. out-of-hospital yeah. practitioners yeah. don't go yeah. into yeah. the yeah. intubation, yeah. so they never right. learn it. I've been teaching it for over 10 years. Almost every midwife in Indiana so, carries one. Are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. So you want to use your other hand. Correct. And you don't want to force it down too far. So you're in too far. Okay. She said what? Supposed to see. Two little white lines and a black hole in between. The jaw or the, yeah. the mouth. Oh, you're not supposed to do that? No. no. You don't want to shoehorn into it. That's why I said you're going to show it. Okay. So you just lift up the tongue. Just like you did with okay. your thumb. Can you see the two white lines in the black hole? Right. That's where you aim for. Yeah. You're doing great, Ann. Get that right in there. Go ahead. You got it. You can see it. You oh, it. I, do. I can't okay. see it. Then, and then <laughs> when I'm done here, I can see it moving. Okay. So now what? Okay. Now you take this out. Yep. You, take these out. you let go of this. You pull the style out. Right now. You put your bag mask on later on. You count both of them. Yeah. Yeah. We do. And bag your baby. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, awesome. Um, Yay. So it isn't Somebody. like you couldn't okay, do it. So we could, uh, but when you have a dead baby, basically, not breathing, no heart rate, right? When you have a dead baby, they're really floppy. It's really hard to do the process. And the What's LMA isn't going to hurt the baby. It's going to do the same thing. And the studies show that it's eyes effective. So normally, if, so, this is if intubating the baby oh, got yeah. the baby going, you would not take extubate the baby and say, oh, I got <laughs> it now, and then, the and then remove what got you there. So if you intubate a baby with an because oh, they're because you are not able to get that heart rate in any other way, shape, or form above 100. Okay. So you intubate and you get it above 100, and you're like, hooray. But some people are like, okay, now take it out. No, that's what got you there. That's why. So you're just saying, don't be in a hurry to take it out. Don't take it out. Don't take it out. Baby can spit it out. Fine. Baby's vigorous enough to spit it out. Fine. Otherwise, you transport. You're transporting. There's no way you're going to extubate and keep a kid at home that you would go so far try not as to put it in the So just <laughs> leave it in and the, if and the, the baby is how can you tell the has size? come around enough, okay. it, it will work it's it out. Just, yeah, like, it, it will. Just go ahead and no, continue the transport, one. transfer care, and let them figure out why you had to get that part down the road. Well, it should it be well be something else going on. And then the baby's going to tank again, and then you've executed the baby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> leave it in, transfer care, let them take it out, or they'll put an ET tube in. So the blue right now. What are you talking about? She's just saying. I want to make sure I want to be on the same page with her about that but we typically don't extubate once you've intubated the baby in a home environment if you got that far down the road you're calling you you're already transferring this baby you transfer with that airway in place if that airway is what got you over a hundred beats per minute for heart rate why would you extubate that's what got you there yeah doesn't even it wouldn't but I can see why someone would be one like okay let's get it out leave it in if the baby coughs, coughs, sputters, sputters, kicks it out on its own, well, isn't that great? You got a vigorous baby. You're still transporting that baby because clearly something went down that got you to that point. And you don't know if the baby's going to tank again. You don't know if the baby's septic. You don't know a lot of things. And the safest thing to do is going to be transport, transfer care, let them figure it out. And then go from there. Would it, it wouldn't really help if there was an esophageal, a, a tresia or something like that. Would they, the, um, that type of intubation wouldn't really uh, work or would it? Yeah, it depends on the degree of the atresia. So you, you're going to try it. The problem is the atresia for NRP purposes is a zebra, just like diaphragmatic hernia, just like a congenital cardiac abnormality. 
And so you're still going to go all the way to trying to intubate a baby that's not doing well and continues to take. Well, we can't totally intubate, but we can use the um, air, the airways. The LMA. So what the LMA? So what no, I'm wondering. You are intubating. So you still are. It's still you're considered. You're still intubating. You're, you have it's a it's a, an airway device. And could that airway could device? Tube, could, be an LMA. could that airway all device be just as effective in certain anomalies like Patricia's? Oh yeah, as okay. it, as effective as an ET. Certain. It's Certain and it's easier. Like it is. It's harder to run into trouble with it. Either it works or it doesn't so, work. Um, I have seen a midwife, they, they weren't able to pass it through. And usually that's a provider issue. Most people are real tentative. And then you can cause esophageal spasm. And then it, I don't know if you've talked about that at all, about esophageal spasm that sometimes, or laryngeal spasm. If you're not smooth and if you don't move all the way through your motion, you can, the, the laryn larynx can can spasm and go, oh, what the heck, you know? Yeah. And then like you have to wait, you have to, you have to go back to bagging if you think that's what happened. And then you can try it again. And again, you have to be a little bit, you hate to be too aggressive, but you want to be smooth and firm and all, and all the way in. And, and it, all in one swoop. And you'll meet that first resistance, get past that first resistance, and you're going to hit the second one, and then you know you hit a smooth wall. And then you're like, okay, I'm in. Cool. And then you can go ahead and inflate. Someone can already start to bag while you do the whole inflating thing, and you're good to go. And then what you should see is that heart rate should just go nicely high. That's what that's what you're hoping. And if it doesn't, it doesn't mean you intubated improperly or whatever. It could mean you've got some very, very significant fetal anomalies. And you just transport and Thank you. What's your name again? Lisa. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. So should we go eat, ladies? Yeah, let's go. What? This was my favorite one so far because I just did a major resuscitation. Yes. Okay, so baby. now you're going to put about three quarters of what you're going to put.